So the most important part about this is the SDA1 and the SDB1. This is what we're going to need to set up our RAID. So we're going to run a sudo space mdadm space dash dash create d r e a t e dash verbose dash correction dash dash verbose v e r b o s e space and then backslash dev backslash m d zero. So what this is going to do is we're going to combine sda1 and sdb1 into a single directory using our uh, RAID and that directory is going to be MD0. So now we got to tell it what level of RAID we want. So dash dash L-E-V-E-L -E -E equals, uh, you can do a RAID 1 or type in mirrored M-I-R-R-O-R. -R -R. And what this is going to do, it's going to just going to copy SDA1 and SDB1. They will have the same data on both in case one of them fails the other one will still have the data. So we're going to run mirrored and then how many devices are going to be in our RAID so space dash dash RAID dash devices equals two. We have two devices and now we need to give it path of what those devices are so our first device is dev backslash sda1 space backslash dev backslash s correction s d b one so it's going to combine sda1 sdb1 using mirrored into this file directory and we run enter and it's going to ask us are you sure we want to do this it's going to erase all the data we tell it yes go ahead do that and it has begun the array is going to be dev md1 has started. We're going to check up on the process by running a cat. Oh, yeah, we run cat forward slash proc slash md stat. So process md start stat. Enter. And it looks like we have seven minutes remaining going pretty slow. Um, a little bit of background, we're using a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus took 892 minutes to do a terabyte, so uh, I'm not too surprised at this slowness, it's pretty standard. But we will wait and come back when it's finished. Alright, we're going to check on the status of our raid. Oh, looks like we are complete. So now, if we go out, let's do a change directory, etc. Oh, now let's see, now we made a dev dev. And we're going to do a list. And we're going to see our md0. Now, it's not a directory yet. So if we do a cd md0, we can't get there because has no file system yet. So we got to create a file system for our md0. So what we're going to do is run a sudo space mkfs make file system and we're going to do it ext4 dash v space dash m space decimal one space four zero nine six space dash capital E space stride S T R I D E equals thirty-two comma stripe dash width equals sixty-four space and then now we're gonna tell it where to write all this at and so we'll give the dev slash M D zero Enter. Okay, looks like I missed part of the command, that's why it filled out. So we need a dash B in front of our block number here. And that should run it. There we go. 
So it's creating our file system. Uh, it's giving our block size 4096. And this shouldn't take too long. Uh, again, depending on how large your MD0 is, ours is only going to be a total of about 3 gigs. It, go, it will be going by the smallest size of our USB device. Okay, so that's finished. So now what we're going to do is save our configuration. Now, unfortunately, we can't do this in the current user state we're at, so we're going to do a sudo dash i enter. Alright. Enter, enter. Now we're going to run the m d a d m space dash dash d e t a i l detail space dash dash s c a n space. Now it's going to be what greater than greater than forward slash e t c slash m m d a d m slash m d a d m dot c o n f Okay, we didn't get any error there, we're good. So now we're going to confirm that it's saved. We're going to run a nano. And we're going to check that file. So, slash etc, slash mdadm, slash mdadm, dot conf. Uh, we come, let's see. Okay, array, dev, MD0. Raspberry. Okay, that looks good. So it created our, or it saved our RAID array here in the MDADM config. Simply control X to exit nano. Alright, so now we're going to mount our MD0. Uh, we can go ahead and exit where we're at. Just simple EXIT. That'll bring us back to our standard pseudo required user. And type in sudo, S U D O. We're going to mount, U N T, and we're going to give a path. So it's going to be dev slash md0. And then where we're going to mount to is going to be slash mnt. Enter. So that mounted. And just to make sure it's there, let's run a sudo space B L K I D. And we should see right there, MD0. And it's given the same UID as we saw. Oh, that was in the other area. But anyway, that's the same UID. And it's in our correct file format. So now that we have it mounted, we need to save this mount. Because if we reboot, it's possible the mount will go away. Easy enough. Run another sudo. We're going to do CP. And then backslash etc fstab space backslash ect f fstab dot ea key backup enter that's good now we're going to check our nano or check that fstab sudo nano etc FSTAB and let's go ahead and enter our directory. Um, so I forgot we need to save that. We just restart. Thank you for watching. Any links to tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you. And thank you for watching.